All right, bitches, this Elven Village two-parter is gonna be nuts. So I have got a lot of shit to talk about. So I went ahead and I got every character up to level 30, which is their highest level here. I see that we got every single character at 30. Um, Nadal and Amigo are at 29 promoted, so they're about to be done leveling for the game. That was unintended, but we'll go over that later. Uh, so every character set level 30. This took a motherfucking long ass time because these enemies were only giving experience until about level 25. From there, I had to just use heal berries, and you know the heal berries, even though they cost only 40, that money adds up quick. So then I had to kill enemies for a while, reget money. All in all, it took me probably about a month to get uh, every character up to 30 from the last time I recorded Battle Royale here. Um, which was pretty long, cause like, uh, Shining Force CD, I remember at the, like, at the very end when I was getting every character up to max level, that only took about two weeks using the Protect Ring. Um, although Shining Force 2, that took like eight months getting all the characters up to level 40, so. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out, um, a gold wing. It looks like you only need one gold wing, so I could probably sell the other two because money is very important um we're gonna bring out the gold ring uh that's it only affects three characters and their promotions um it affects kiwi who we can see right there it also affects uh namek that is our archer who's right there and it affects janet now the way it affects kiwi it seems is his normal promotion is just like his shining force too like big tortoise monster promotion but his gold wing promotion turns him into looks like a, a jade dragon type thing which is interesting i gotta get the feeling that the jade dragon is probably stronger so i'll go with that um th so the only three characters i looked at their promotions uh is kiwi namek and janet now what happens with namek and janet using the gold wing is that um Promoting them would turn them just into, like, the, uh, promoted archer state from Shining Force 2. You know, the one that, like, uh, Elric and Janet get. If I use the gold wing on them, that will turn them into the, like, the tank archer, uh, road from Shining Force 2. So I'll probably use that on Namek. And then Janet, I'm just gonna do a regular promotion into her sniper. And we'll see which one ends up better. I'll be very curious about that. Um, also, Athens. So, Athens got this lucky ring. Uh, cool ass dude, Richter Belmont. He informed me that what the lucky ring does is it heals 6 HP per turn if the character has 6 HP to heal. Uh, so, that's really good. There's a, a ring like that in Shining Force 3. I always give that to the main character. That's actually incredible incredibly incredibly useful um okay so yeah we're good here let me just start promoting everyone once everyone is promoted um then i'm gonna buy all new equipment for everyone that's another reason this took so long is because i was out of money after everyone got up to level 30 that included me selling everyone's equipment and then it's like well shit now everyone needs new promoted equipment so let me, you know, kill enemies for two weeks to get the necessary money. Uh, Alright, so let's just promote Affin. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna promote him, yep. Oh, the hero. Okay, yeah, let's let's do it, let's do it. And cool, we've got him right on screen there so we can see how he'll change. Oh, look, it looks like he has the, the Force Sword or the Chaos Breaker. Interesting. Uh, now, I don't know what any of these promotion characters look like in battle. Again, except for Kiwi, Namek, and Janet. So, uh, normally when I've uh, promoted... Yeah, she's going to go to a cleric. Okay. Normally when I've promoted in uh, other games, like, the experience stops at a certain point unpromoted. Um, if you promote, it picks back up. So, like, we're going to be getting a ton of experience from killing these enemies. Oh, okay, Matula. Yeah, she looks cool. Um, yeah, we're going to get a ton of experience from uh, killing these enemies right now. 
So I could probably get all the promoted characters up to probably level 5 or so. But, like, I since I haven't seen what any of these promoted characters look like, I figured, let me just not do any uh, grinding after they're promoted. Wow, there was barely a difference there. <laughs> okay, Sybil. Um, and that way I could keep my, uh, you know, reactions to what uh, these promoted characters look like fresh. Berserker, huh? Okay. Interesting. Because in normal Shining Force games, um, a warrior promotes into a gladiator. Let's see what our boy Gates looks like, shall we? Oh, okay, okay. Gates looks uh, definitely much more intimidating there. Alright, Wendy. Yup. Going to a wizard. Sure. Sure, we'll take it. Now, um, after I give everyone equipment, I'm going to go over a lot of characters have new spells. Especially, like, Wendy and Rivalde. Their spell- Oh, that's, um, that's just her promoted look from Shining Force CD. Okay. So, yeah, like, I have to go through all of their- So, okay, Dark Knight, Gepa, what is he going to? Shadow Knight, or- That's not Steam Knight. What is that? Probably Shadow Knight, right? I, I couldn't think, because it's not going to be like Steam Knight or... Oh, wow, he looks fucking badass, man. Geppel, not fucking around. Okay, Kiwi, here we go. Uh, yes. Okay, so it's like you can be promoted to uh, Jade Dragon with the gold wing. And if we hit no, and it's like to Indra, which I do not want, nah. Because that, the Indra, whatever, that takes him to his form, uh, his promoted form from Shining Force 2. Like the big tortoise monster. We're gonna go with the Jade Dragon, or... That has gotta be what that is, right? Jade Dragon? Because I couldn't think of loses all spells that were learned. So, Kiwi doesn't have any spells right now. He's got... Let me just show you guys. He's Yeah, he, see, he's got nothing. No magic, nothing. I assume... That when he is... Well, I, I don't assume. I know it's going to be like this. When he's promoted to his uh, big tortoise form, he'll be able to learn uh, the fire breath ability. <clears throat> and, like, you can use it as a magic spell. Because in Shining Force 2, his fire breath was just, like, a crit. Whenever he did a, did a critical attack, it would come out as the fire breath. Uh, but here, it's... Uh, a spell you can use. Uh, honesty, okay. Now, last I checked, Sybil was significantly better than Honesty. It was not even close at all. So, once we get everyone uh, equipped, I will be very curious to see if Honesty is caught back up with Sybil. Uh, May, okay. Oh, is that Pegasus Archer? Oh, shit. If May and Waltz can fly, that's going to be really good. Is that what that is? Oh, please tell me she can fly. Oh, wow. Okay, so May and Waltz, uh, they've got some shit going on, man. Okay, yeah, Master Monk. I'm sure this is going to make Kray look just like his uh, promoted state from Shining Force CD here. Wow, man. I can't believe May and Waltz are going to be flying. Ye oh, yeah, that, that pretty much looks like Cray. Also uh, has a resemblance to uh, Gong from uh, Shining Force 1. Sky Warrior, it looks like. I'm sure this will be a similar effect to Amigo, where she has like the flashing aura around her. Oh, no, okay, well, whatever. And Namek. Okay, to Sniper. No, wait, no, 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 no. Let me grab my gold wing. Hold on. All right, be careful, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, yeah, looks like each gold wing is actually used then. Okay. So, yeah, let me grab, uh, bam. And the one that Affin had was used. Yeah, whatever, we'll just give it to him again. 
Alright, back up. Okay, so yeah, Af uh, or Namek looks like this is going to be our first... Uh, this will conclude our first uh, class of getting everyone promoted here. Okay, so Namek. Oh, very exciting to have everyone promoted now. Yep. Okay, so yeah, that's the BRGN. I don't know what the fuck that's saying. I have no idea. Baron Gunner, maybe? And then, uh, Sniper, which we don't want. We're gonna go... Namek can go to the Baron Gunner thing. Um, in Shining Force 2, it's kind of like... I don't like the class that much because it's so slow... But with the chain and the elven boots here in Battle Royale, like, that class, like, has some real, like, use. Because uh, what the uh, Baron Gunner class does is they get ridiculous, insane defense. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get uh, all of our next uh, promotion class characters in. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, kids, so now let's get these next characters promoted. Time for more promotions, promotions. Okay, so who's next? Hanzo. Oh, time for some ninjutsu. Two ninja. Okay, so they go from what? Shinobi to ninja? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, sure. And let's see what we got here. Oh, in oh, interesting. That looks, that looks like the one from what you call it, uh, Shining Force uh, One. That's exactly what uh, Hanzo looks like in Shining Force One. Okay, so now Musashi to Sam R I. Okay, from Ronin to Samurai. I guess that makes sense. And here we go. Ooh, Musashi. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Actually, hold on. You know what? I kind of want the camera to be up a little bit. I want... If I have Screech use Egress, we can get a better look at... Because it's blocking off Waltz, Ruhada, and Screech right now. No. Oh, god damn it. No. I knew that this promotion was going to take a long time. After I get everyone promoted, I'm going to begin buying the equipment. Uh, I also have to sort through... Remember we got, like, the flame sword? From, uh... Oh, boy. What battle was that that we got that? That was the battle right before the Kraken battle? Yeah, here we go. Okay. So now, we want to promote... Waltz. And Waltz will also go to a Pegasus Archer. Yeah, boy! So good! Oh, man. So, ha so now, like, the amount of flyers that are available is just, like, outrageous. Oh, yeah. Um, another thing I noticed. So... Dolan, Cray, and Kiwi, they did not use weapons uh, in their pre-promoted state. Um, but once you promote them, all three of them actually... Ooh, let me grab a Golden Wing out. I believe I only had three, right? Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna use all of these on uh, Affin also before we get this battle started. Okay. But, I, you know, I am... I'm just gonna promote Janet to Sniper because I want to see what the difference in their stats will be like, uh, as they grow in level. Uh, the difference between Janet and the mech, the two different classes they can take. So we could go to Brass Gunner or Baron Gunner. Nah, son. We're gonna go to Sniper. I wonder why Janet was chosen to be in here. 
I guess it makes sense. Oh, I th she looks a lot cooler now. That is what a Shining Force CD archer looks like, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, Dawn. Now, they can't be uh, promoted into Pegasus Knights because the Pegasus Knight is a class that we already have with Sybil and Honesty. So, I don't know how useful Dawn and Akana are going to be. Up to this point, they've been very underwhelming. Hopefully, Dawn uh, is gold in her battle portrait. And we don't have more Shining Force CD shenanigans like that. Alright, Screech gonna go to Sky Warrior. <laughs> Barely a change. Oh, Valde, yes. Oh, Valde, his lightning spells are vicious, man. His bolt, lightning, thunder, I don't give a fuck, all of that. Valde's gonna have sonic booms. Oh, look at Valde. He's too good. Too good. We're gonna have Valde, like, all the way with us to the end of the game. And Kamiku, yep, looks very similar to Hanzo. They look so thin. Like, <laughs> look how thin they get. I almost think I, I wish it would have been reversed. I think I like their their pre-promoted, -promo like, battle sprites looked a little cooler than that, like, ultra-thin looking one. Okay, so Akana's got some gold as well. Okay. Ruhada! To Berserker. Hopefully he looks just as badass as Gates did. And the answer is he does Yeah, yeah, he actually looks pretty cool. Kinda looks like the Amazon a bit. Okay, so we've only got a couple more characters to promote. Uh I will BRB. Okay, so let's get the last promotions. Okay, so yep, starting from the top. Everyone is all good in the hood. Next is Sheila, you biatch. Going to a cleric. Now, I don't know how much I'll be using Sheila and Matula. They definitely should have some uses with their ability to use not only boost, but attack. Okay, yeah, Sheila's fine. Interesting that they don't let you have Sheila as a master monk, but maybe that's intended because it's like you got Sheila as a master monk in Shining Force 2. So now you get her as a cleric here in uh, Shadow Force 2 Battle Royale. I guess I like that. And yeah, Domingo has the same sort of effect that Amigo does. Okay. And Re, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Now I wonder, is Anne Re, is she going to turn into a promoted look from Shining Force 1? Or maybe she'll take her look from Shining Force CD? Oh, yep, that's her from Shining Force CD. Okay. Yep. And Hindle now. To the same one that Geppel becomes. Shadow Knight. Steam Knight. Super Knight. <laughs> Not the Dark Knight. That's what he used to be. Oh, okay, Hindle. And Hori! So this is everyone. Everyone is now promoted. Excelente. Okay. So next, let's go ahead and do the equipment. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to put that gold wing away. Uh, Affin is going to keep the lucky ring, actually. Now, hold on. Let's go take a look at... Uh, okay, so Nadal's going to keep the bolt staff. The adamant shield is better than the iron armor, so we'll just go ahead and sell the iron armor. That's worthless now to us. And um, the ch those chain boots I'll give to, like, uh, Musashi. The barrier wand I'll give to one of our... Okay, so let's just check real quick. I'll do it on camera. Uh, what's better, the flame sword or the whatever sword we can buy? Let's uh, take a look at that. 
All right, first thing we'll do is we're gonna sell the iron armor. Yeah, we don't need that. 300 gold coins, that's, that's, that's a good amount. I, I'm not, you know, crying about that. Okay, so let's buy, uh, so we're gonna get barrier wands. Uh, we don't need knives anymore, so we'll have uh, spurs, these are claws. Those will go to Cray, Dolan, and Kiwi. Uh, assault shells, so our archers can hit three panels away now, which is gonna be fucking beast. Uh, we're gonna need spears and steel lances, actually. Damn, okay. Battle axe, battle sword, or steel sword, okay. So I'll grab a steel sword, we'll give it to Affin. 54, okay. So let's uh, give him the flame sword now. Let's see which is stronger. No, god damn it. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I will go ahead and equip that. So that raises his agility as well as uh, healing that six health. So that's that's not bad. That's, that's really good. It is stronger. Okay. So uh, we'll have Affin go ahead and equip that then. Oh, Riz's defense, too. Wow. So, you know what? No, 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 no. We're going to give that to Screech, actually. That is made for Screech. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, so, now I'm going to go ahead and buy uh, weapons for everyone. Um, Geppel and Hindle, depending on, you know, what looks better... Uh, if swords and axes are the same strength, I'll give them axes, of course, to save money. So I'll be right back once everything is bought and uh, I got uh, weapons and uh, accessories for everyone. And then we'll go over all the characters and we'll take a look at their spells as well. Okay, so everyone is fully equipped. So let's go through all the characters now. Okay, so Affin has... Uh, bolt 3 now, which is pretty useful. He'll be restoring health with the Lucky Ring. Uh, that's pretty much it for Affin. We know the deal with the heroes. Uh, Matula, you know, she's got Hell, Ashura. Ashura is a really good single target wind attack. So it's kind of like a better version of Hell. Like, except it's meant for a single target. So it does big damage to a single target, which is pretty, pretty fucking good, actually. Okay, so Sybil, yeah, you know, she's got her lance, spear, shield. We know the deal with Sybil. Uh, Gates, I decided to give Gates chain boots. He has good defense already. So now he'll really be able to stay in the thick of battle with this seven move. Okay, so Wendy, so she got Heatro and Flare. Okay, so Blaze is a spell that goes in like sort of a cross formation. So it can hit up to five targets. Heatro is just like Ashura in that it hits a single target for big damage. And Flare is like the big diamond uh, formation. Like, you know, like the big, huge area effect attack. So it looks like all the wizards, they all have spells like that. They have a cross spell, a single spell, and then the big diamond spell. Uh, Geppel's got Freeze 3. Now, Drain actually steals MP. So, that's, uh, it could be useful in the right situation, I guess. Um, the axe and the sword still have the same strength. The axe is a little cheaper, so I gave Geppel and Hindle axes. Uh, we see Kiwi now. Now, Kiwi's promotion bumped his move up to 7. So, um... I can give Kiwi the Power Sash to raise his attack, which will be pretty fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? Honesty. Honesty is just a weaker version of Sybil at this point, so she's got the Adamant Shield for defense. Nothing big. Uh, May. You know, she's a flying archer now. Adamant Shield, whatever. Uh, Cray Cray here. Nothing nothing much to say. Him and um, Dolan are able to use the Spurs now, so their attack is a little higher. But Cray and Dolan, they, they suck. No one gives a fuck. Amy, Bird Warrior, she's all the same. Uh, Namek, I gave him Chain Boots since his move is only four as the Brass Gunner. His defense will start to pick up. 
but I'll just have to be careful with him for the time being. Uh, my boy Hanzo. Now, Kibu heals MP, but it costs like 20, so it doesn't really have much of a tactical use here. Katan is pretty useful at level 2. Uh, both Hanzo and Kamiku now use swords instead of uh, bitch-ass knives. Uh, I gave both of the Samurai's chain boots to get their movement up to 6, so they'll be a little bit more effective. Uh, Waltz is just the same as Mei. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about her. Now, Nadal, her shit is crazy. Her stats are insane. Detox 4, Aura 4. Now, Detox 4 is going to be real useful because all these bitch-ass enemies are always using, like, stun and poison and dispel and all this garbage. So, Detox will be pretty useful to get rid of that. I gave her Chain Boots since her defense is already fucking 70, so there's no reason to make it any higher. Dolan... He sucks. He's got a sure, I guess, I guess so that's kind of useful. So, you know what? I guess that does make him better than Kray. Uh, here's Amigo, who's, like, the best character now. The bitch has 90 fucking attack, aura 4, a sure 2. I used Amigo to farm a lot of money with a sure 2. That's why Amigo has 220 kills and no one is even cracking 100 besides Amigo. Uh, Janet, yeah, just an archer, no one cares. Dawn, yeah, Paladins are weak at this point. Don't give a fuck. My boy Screech with that ridiculous attack. Oh, shit, son. Uh, Valde, yeah, same deal as uh, Wendy. So, Kajada is the single target, super powerful attack. Zap is the diamond. Pretty pretty useful for Valde. Uh, Kamiku, he's got Kibu also. Raijin, too, hits so hard. So, Kamiku is really useful now. Uh, Akana, yeah, Paladin, whatever, fuck you. Ruhada, I gave him Chain Boots, 7 move. He could be pretty useful. 55 attack is very high. Uh, Sheila, attack, boost, detox, and heal. So the more I think about it, Sheila could be really, really useful in a lot of battles. Because detox is going to be like... I'm actually going to be using detox on like every other Shining Force game. Uh, Domingo's move is so low, I had to give him Chain Boots. So, he is going to be the weakest as far as defense on the force. Um, Ison is the single target attack. So, Domingo can't actually hit from three panels out, which is a shame. And that is the reason I have to give him chain boots or else he's useless. And then Frost is the diamond formation. Uh, Anri, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Hindle's also got drain, but he's got bolt instead of freeze. So, I like Hindle better than Gepel. And then Hori is our last samurai. Alright, so that's that's it. So we're all good with everyone. Uh, I guess I'll see you fuckers next time and we'll fucking fuck up this battle with our bitchin' super duper force thing.